Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. Now here's our second segment about the aftermath of the 2008 Republican National Convention, where we'll follow what's happened in the year since the convention. The raids happened in St. Paul, 627 Smith Avenue last night and 951 Eigelhart this afternoon. Earlier today, there were three raids in Minneapolis, 2301 23rd Avenue South, 3500 Harriet Avenue South, and 3240 17th Avenue South. But so far, not enough evidence to charge those people believed to be anarchists. The arrests today follow the arrests of six other protesters. The protesters you see here are members of the group called the RNC Welcoming Committee. But the FBI and the Ramsey County Sheriffs had been compiling um, dossiers on people and investigating them based on their political opinions. It was Kafka-esque. They want us to, to comply, to, to live in fear. The police continued to fire projectiles into the crowd as it was walking away. I felt like I was being subjected to, to terrorism by the state, by police forces, and, and nobody, nobody seems to realize this. conduct business has been born out of hundreds of years of development of the police state in the United States. The RNC organizers prior to this event took out a ten million dollar insurance policy to uh, indemnify the city and, and, its, and its employees against uh, lawsuits for the actions that they would take during the course of the RNC. sure that people who participate in the kinds of things that expose them to the wrath of the government know that the people stand by. Everybody that's engaged in political work should have a prisoner that they've adopted or they're their collective should be doing uh, work around somebody. You've got to have a community to, to, to be able to fall back on and support you, um, and a community to be able to create the next, you know, if the eight of us go down, there's just going to be eight more people um, to come up and, and take our place. I'm Alejandro Molina, and you're watching Chicago Independent Television.
Does Comcast hate God? Let's find out. Well, Comcast blocked internet traffic, which allowed internet users to upload and download online copies of the Bible. So yes. There you have it. Clear evidence that Comcast hates God. Help protect God. Visit these websites to learn more and get involved. Comcast, it's blocktastic.